Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again in our video newsletter. Thank you very much for your support. Today I want to talk about arabesque. Especially mainly is the hip placement of the arabesque. Let's say arabesque leg off uh, 45 degrees or 90 degrees or even higher in uh, in classical, classical ballet. So we often talk about square, squareness. You know, our teacher told us that it's important to have our shoulders sit on top of our hips, that everything has to be square. Now, is that really realistic in the sense if let's say the first arabesque right here, if I am bring my leg up above 45 degrees. Now I believe it is absolutely important and it's very much expected if your leg is at 45 or below to have the hips absolutely square with your shoulder i believe that but what i want to talk about if the leg above 45 degrees what do you do does your hip absolutely still stay in the absolutely square form i think on paper is right, but in actual practice, I don't believe it's right. I believe this working hip has to open just a little bit. To, it's not just to compromise. It's not just to, just to let's say uh, cheat. It is not. It's it's necessary. Just how our hip are designed. I don't believe your your leg, even with very flexible back students with very flexible. Um, uh, back or uh, hip flexor. When you reach 90 degrees, it's necessary to keep your hips absolutely square. Because when you do this, one thing happens, which I don't like, is the placement of your supporting hip. What I don't like is shift back in order to create the squareness of it. So in return, I want, not what I want, I think what ballet wants, is your supporting hip to be absolutely over the toes and not to shift the back because this is deadly. You know, you cannot work when the lady's on point if your supporting hip is being compromised in this way. So my hip, supporting hip is up on top the toes of my working leg, of my supporting leg, the working hip has to open just a little bit in order for this to happen. If your hip is absolutely square, potentially the back heels up. That's number two problem. So you're not going to have a perfect line or the line that is really desirable for most of the people if you keep your hip is absolutely square this way. However, there's your shoulder. What about your shoulders? I believe your shoulders, especially for students, it has to be kept square, especially the arm to the side. I don't believe this is right. I don't believe the shoulder needs to be compromised. Shoulder and arm needs to be very square. Hips, when the leg go up above 45 degrees, you got to open up the working hip just a little bit to create a beautiful line, not only the working leg, also the supporting leg as well, to avoid this situation, which is um, not good alignment, especially on point. So please try it. It's a delicate situation. Every student, their flexibility, their rotation are different. So it's up to us teachers to help them to find the best arabesque line, which is a simple, everybody asking for the audition season coming up. Everybody wants a first arabesque picture. So from this picture, we see, we can absolutely tell the training, the ability, and the level of a student. So therefore, it's up to us teachers to help each, every student to find their own perfect first arabesque. And I think it's, it, it can be done. I think it can be done, but uh, not too square, too square. 
Yes, especially above 45 degrees in the back. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful for you um, and I appreciate your support and your encouragement and your trust. Thank you very much. See you next time.